presidential campaign remains a competitive field this morning after the first in the nation Iowa caucuses. Now the attention shifts to New Hampshire where their primary is one week away. Our Ashley Roberts joins us with a look at the numbers in Iowa because these numbers kept changing into the early morning hours, Ashley. Yes, they did. Jason, good morning. A victorious Ted Cruz emerged from Iowa. The Democratic contest was a cliffhanger ending with the closest results in Iowa Democratic caucus history between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders in both parties this morning remain competitive. Go ahead, take a look. Here are the numbers with 99% of precincts reporting. Ted Cruz wins Iowa 28%. Donald Trump 24%. Marco Rubio, a stronger third than people had anticipated, 23%. Here are the numbers on the Democratic side. Hillary Clinton taking the race, 49.9%. Bernie Sanders, a strong second at 49.6%. And Martin O'Malley comes in third place at 0.5%. Tonight is a victory for courageous conservatives across Iowa and all across this great nation. I will keep doing what I have done my entire life. I will keep standing up for you. I will keep fighting for you. I hear this not just from progressives. I hear it from conservatives. I hear it from others. And that is we can no longer continue to have a corrupt campaign finance system. Nearly all the candidates plan to return to New Hampshire today, where the voters will hold the first primary of the season. That's in one week. Before voters weigh in, candidates in both parties may have another opportunity to debate. Sanders and Clinton will likely square off Thursday at the University of New Hampshire. The Republicans will meet Saturday in Manchester. Ashley, so often Iowa is less about who won and more about who lost. We're already seeing a couple of candidates dropping from the race. Yeah, that's right, Jason. Two candidates decided to call it quits after poor finishes in Iowa, one Republican and one Democrat. Mike Huckabee and Martin O'Malley both suspended their presidential bids last night. Huckabee, who won the Iowa caucus back in 2008, finished this time with just 2 percent. O'Malley, as you just saw from those numbers, did not even reach 1 percent of the Democratic support. Hey, Ashley, thank you.